Hey guys, today we're in Plantersville Cemetery in Plantersville, Mississippi. We're going to visit the grave of and pay our respects to Mississippi Slim. He's the guy that a young Elvis Presley dreamed that maybe one day he could have a radio show and be as big as Mississippi Slim. Come along with us. Let's go explore. Carville Lee Osborne, better known as Mississippi Slim, was born on September 24, 1923, in Smithville, Mississippi. He passed away on December the 1st, 1973, at 50 years old and is buried here in the Plantersville Cemetery. We're going to tell you a little bit about his story as we make our way to his grave and pay our respects. He began to play the guitar around the age of 13 because he wanted a career in music. One of his heroes was Mississippian Jimmy Rogers, and of course, he was a fan of Hank Williams, Ernest Tubb, and his cousin, Rod Brassfield. Rod was a big-time country comedian, and he often toured with Hank Williams. Rod grew up around Smithville as well. Mississippi Slim traveled all over the country with Goober and his Kentuckians and the Bisbee's Comedians Tent Show. He joined up with the Grand Ole Opry a couple times, largely because of his cousin's connections, his cousin Rod Brassfield. Slim is probably most famous because he became known as one of Elvis Presley's first musical heroes and critics. Slim played hillbilly music, and he put on a lively show with mostly love songs and comedy. People are said to have really enjoyed his show. He recorded music such as You're Gonna Be Sorry and Memory of You, Beer Drinking Blues, Through Crying Over You, I'm Long Gone Doggy, No You Can't Be True, and Tired of Your Lies, and Queen for a Day. Before I tell you a little bit more about his connection with Elvis, I want to look back toward the gates of the cemetery just in case any of you decide you want to come by and pay your respects to Mississippi Slim, especially since he was so important to a young Elvis Presley. Slim hosted a show on Tupelo's WELO radio station. Mississippi Slim became the hillbilly star of the station around 1946, and a young Elvis occasionally performed on Mississippi Slim's radio program entitled Singing and Picking Hillbilly. In the late 1940s, WELO broadcast from the Lee County Courthouse. As we walk back by the grave of Slim's brother and then his mom and dad and finally back to his grave, I want you to think about how a country or a hillbilly singer and comedian, how his ability to make that experience of singing on the radio fun for young Elvis Presley impacted our world and changed music history forever. Well, I hope you've learned a little bit about Elvis history and Mississippi hillbilly radio history, and maybe you'll make your way to Plantersville Cemetery yourself someday and visit the grave of Slim's brother his mom and dad, and finally, let's pay our respects one last time to Mississippi Slim, hillbilly musician and comedian and inspiration to young Elvis Presley. Thank you.